Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Sir Jay Pestridge, welcome to another Sim Market Spotlight Review for under 5 minutes. And today we're talking about Active Sky for version 6, which is in early access. It's the newest and latest weather engine from the Hi-Fi Simulations company. And uh, this new product integrates specifically for version 6 platform. It takes advantage of its new atmospheric engine and various graphical and lighting improvements to provide an enhanced and comprehensive weather experience. Active Sky 6 includes the Active Sky Advanced Weather Engine, proprietary hi fi data net weather network, flight planning, briefing features, mapping, historical weather with playback voice features, weather gauge, and so much more. It's currently available in an early access beta program, which means it's offered at a significantly reduced price, it allows anyone to participate, it's a public beta. And if you do, just rem remember that, you know, it is uh, in beta, so that it will contain bugs, issues, it is unfinished. But if you're looking for, uh, you know, a weather engine that is good, I do recommend it, even as an early access beta. But if you are looking for something more stable uh, with an official experience from Hi-Fi Simulations, they do say please wait for the full release. The price is 36 euros. It's available on the Sim Market website. The link is in the description box below. And uh, it's a fantastic weather engine, I've got to say. It allows you, like I said, to be able to do historic or custom weather uh, or current live weather. It includes a map of where you are, which you can also tick for clouds, traffic, you know, weather stations, and, and sort of set this up how you want to see it. It comes with your local sort of uh, weather updates, you know, report for wherever you are. And if you are, if you have got a flight plan in there, it'll depart and destination at the click of a button. So it's really easy. And the instance we do load one in here, and we say we're here going to there. It will eventually load in your flight and you'll have a full briefing here of everything you need. It is really good. It even comes with scenarios that you can set up if you're looking to train. And uh, that is the difference between the live and the uh, Active Sky weather. It uh, doesn't really hamper performance. It doesn't really take much away from your frame rate. It works uh, as a standalone weather engine you don't need anything else there's no other um, clouds or anything you need but it not only works with the volumetric skies it also works with the legacy skies so if you go in to your graphics options into the world and you literally turn off volumetric clouds and the sim reloads so will active sky with those legacy clouds it's specific for v6 like I said, both volumetric clouds and legacy non-volumetric clouds mode. It has a voice features, including ATIS, flight watch, and full voice briefings, a mobile companion app for weather display and control through any device, advanced radar and precipitation, cloud detection, motion effect, and in-cloud visibility reduction if you turn off the volumetric cloud. There is uh, no support at the moment for cloud detection in cloud motion, in cloud visibility, high resolution radar precipitation accuracy, and ASCA compatibility. Uh, that is through the legacy skies only. The active sky volumetric cloud um, enhancement completely replaces the tr previous EA and true sky clouds that version six bring. So if you are looking to uh, have a, a full realistic sky, then I would recommend using the volumetric clouds as that only not includes just a graphical change, but it actually includes um, pressure in the air, precipitation in the air, wind that actually affects dynamically your plane and the ability to fly it. Um, it's actually a full sky of atmospherics, not just a visual cloud. And I think that's where a lot of people confuse where it's just, well, I prefer the look of the old clouds 
versus the new clouds, and it's it is not that at all. There's actually a r live, real sky with everything it contains um, included in with the volumetric clouds. So when you go through clouds, your plane, if it's compatible with that, will react accordingly as opposed to just going through a cloud and nothing really happens. And that's it really, that's that's all I've really got to say about Active Sky Weather Engine. Um, it will automatically detect the version you're using. So currently I'm on 8603. Uh, the one sort of Achilles heel so far, which is something they may switch up in the future is that with the new way version 6 updates if you happen to update the sim through the quick patch system then active sky won't work until hi-fi simulations updates their active sky app this particular version i'm using right now is tied particularly to the version of the sim i've got so if i do an update I have to wait for Hi-Fi Simulations to update Active Sky before I can continue using it. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a bummer because uh, if there is a crucial fix that I'm waiting for or a new feature that I want to take advantage of, I've got to wait like two to three days, which isn't that much of a big deal, but I've got to wait those days before I'll get the install patch from Active Sky. So I do hope they change that to make it more able to use fluidly. Um, but other than that, I really highly recommend it. It is a great um, weather system to implement and accompany and complement P3D V6, which in itself is a great sim. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick review. Uh, it was quick. Um, the link is in the description box below. Don't forget, I do run a competition every month where I give away... 50 euros of flight sim vouchers for sim market all you have to do to be in with a chance to win is leave a comment down in any one of my p3d videos and be a subscriber to my channel and every month i go live with a vlog and announce that winner uh thank you so much for watching this one and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye Thank you.